everyone. This is going to be a very special Venus in Cancer All Signs Love Messages. Real quick, I want to talk about the astrology. Venus moved into Cancer today. It's June 2nd. And Mars is still here in Cancer. And we have Mercury retrograded still in Gemini. So Venus in Cancer means the goddess, the ruler of love and beauty and money is moved into Cancer, which is representative of the mother or very nurturing energy, the home, your house, your children, family, what brings you comfort um, and stability. So Cancer being a water sign, we are going to feel a little bit more lovey-dovey, a little bit more in tune with our emotions, and we're going to be thinking more about how it feels, how we feel about the relationships we're in, how we feel about the money we're making, our careers, and uh, if we feel stable, if we want to change things, and um, how we feel about our home life. You could be making changes in your home, beautifying your home, uh, decluttering, that sort of thing, to feel more comfortable in your home space. As far as beauty goes, you may want to, you know, remodel a bedroom or paint or uh, buy some new decor. Or you may be focused on your own looks as well. That is possible. But the main thing is we're visiting how we feel. Cancer is all about how it feels, it's a very emotional and sensitive sign. And it's about how do others feel? Are you giving to others as much as you need to be? I mean, uh, are you also receiving from others? Are you receiving from every situation in a way that feels good and is a blessing to yourself as well as others? And in a way that um, makes the home life more comfortable, more valuable, more beautiful. So you may be feeling uh, more frisky, more sexual, in a way that is very intimate and emotional. Not just about sex, but you know, the deeper meaning, the, the more connected experiences. So this is a very exciting time. It's a very uh, lovey-dovey time, as well as this energy makes us more aware and compassionate with others as a whole. How other people are being treated uh, and can we be more compassionate to humanity as a whole and to, you know, different groups within the collective. Are we showing compassion and understanding and is everyone feeling good and loved? Um, so take care of yourself. Do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel loved. Take care of your energy and your energetic body. Um, eat really good foods. Do whatever makes you feel more positive about yourself. You know, if it's taking a long bath or having a spa day or getting your hair done or buying new clothes or whatever it is for males or females. And then you just want to be sure to check in with your partner and make sure everybody's feeling good. You will feel more emotional when it comes to love. You will feel more nurturing and loving and caring for others. And so that's why I wanna make sure that you're doing that for yourself as well. Okay, so because of this energy, I'm gonna be doing love messages, general love messages for all signs. So this will not resonate with everyone, they're general. And I'm going to be asking Spirit, my intention is, please Spirit, give me the highest good clear interpretations for the largest possible collective of each sign. I want to make sure everyone gets at least a message or two. Um, but if it doesn't resonate, always come back, check in for different readings. Uh, I do plan on doing more readings. I don't always get to do them, but I do plan on doing that and I would like to start um, another astrology series about the positive traits of all the signs. So please comment below if these resonate with you. I hope that you have a fantastic June when it comes to love. 
for all signs and then I'll do at the end a collective but let's start with Capricorn I got these new love messages cards so I'm really just going to be focused on love now if a message comes out and you feel it is more guided about a friendship or a family member or maybe not relationship uh, at all maybe a career choice or a path whatever it is that you're experiencing I like to keep it all uh, enveloped in one so if spirit wants to talk about your life path and your spiritual path right now then that's what's going to come through I am asking for love messages but you know it's not everybody's uh, lovey-dovey time so maybe some people are working on career and, and whatever happens to come out for that group then that's what it is so I'm going to pull tarot for your current situation what is to come in the future from that situation and how your partner feels about you and then I'm going to be pulling some little love cards here and there and a couple's cards so if you are single still watch these because it, you may get information about a partner who's coming in or just someone that you're thinking about <clears throat> excuse me because we are revisiting past relationships with this Mercury retrograde okay so I'm Sammy please like and subscribe if you like this please comment below um, if you want to see more videos like this or if it resonates and that helps confirm for me and others as well so let's get started with Capricorn Spirit, give us clear messages for the sign of Capricorn when it comes to love in relation to Venus in Cancer Venus in Cancer, love messages please for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you. Get three cards please. Tell me about <laughs> how you feel. Okay, King of Swords. It did kind of jump out sideways so we can read it up or down. King of Swords is someone who is stable and uh, knows what they want. King of Swords, for you Capricorn, may be talking about your diligence, hard working, very logical right now. You may be a clear communicator or you may be uh, trying to communicate clearly when it comes to love this month. You may also be putting on a tough face, okay, tough exterior. You may be preventing love from coming in for some of you. Some of you may just be focused more on other things. This is a very mental energy, but it is about transformation. I always like to point that out with this card because he has these butterflies here on his throne and he is the king, so he's gone through a lot to get where he is. And um, it's a great transformation. It's an accumulation of power and strength and hard work. So if it is in the reverse, it could be for you that you haven't had any communication recently or that um, that if you did, maybe you got an argument or something recently because this is the current energy. You may be feeling like no one's coming in for you or you may be having a harsh or difficult communication recently, especially with Mercury retrograde. So please tell me about the future outcome for love for Capricorn. Also, uh, Capricorn, you could just be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Tell me about the current, uh, not the current, just kidding. Tell me about the future love messages. Future love for Capricorn. Future love. I just get this feeling like you're being a hard ass right now. You may be running from love. Some of you don't want to deal with it at all. Others of you are being very cunning and creative in love. Okay. Um, there will be some of you who are uh, possibly dealing with somebody that you know is lying to you. And that could have been why this popped out in reverse. Like it's either you don't know the whole truth or you're, you're asking for more information or waiting for more communication because it hasn't come through and possibly you're expecting that this person has lied or betrayed um, for you. For some of you, that's not for all of you. Okay, let's see how your person views you. How does Capricorn's person view them? How does Capricorn's person view them?
Queen of Cups. So this person, I mean, you may have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart. This person views you as a, a very open and loving, compassionate person. Queen of Cups takes care of others. She is caring and loving, and she's emotionally in control. She's very mature. So your person may view you as this. Let's get some messages of love from your person. Love messages from Capricorn's person, please. What does Capricorn's person want to say to them? Capricorns. Soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So some of you are dealing with a soulmate situation here. It does not mean that you have to be with them, okay? I just have to say that. And then we have denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So for some of you, this person has hurt you or is going to be hurting you. I feel like you already know this and you're waiting to hear some sort of truth from this person. You want clear communication. And whether you get it or not, I don't know, but I feel like you already know this information. They're looking at you like, you're the shit. They know it. They messed up. You're amazing. You're super uh, open and loving. And I'm pretty sure they're feeling like shit now because you're hard as a rock. You're tough as nails. And you don't want to hear it. You know, unless it's truth, you don't want to hear it. So this person uh, may be like a sneaky, lying, kind of cheater energy. Um, or this is you possibly just running away from the connection because you may not trust this person. Um, or they've hurt you in the past. Or they're just not coming correct. They're not coming to you in a very logical, clear, communicative way because this is your energy right now. Okay. They still see you as very loving, caring. So they know you're the shit. But you got this tough exterior. Just because they're your soulmate. I mean, you could have a million soulmates, you know? It doesn't mean you have to be with them. The main purpose of a soulmate is to learn something. It's to learn a lesson. It doesn't mean that you have to be mated for life. This could even be, uh, you know, a friend or a co-worker. It does not even have to be love. But in order to clearly see, Spirit is saying you need to detach yourself from this situation because part of you may be believing this person, even though your heart is telling you they've lied in some way. I don't feel this is fair to the singles, so I just had an epiphany that I'm going to do for single Capricorns as well. So what you can expect coming in for love. So please take these how they resonate. This is for singles. Single Capricorn. Current energy. Single Capricorns. Not coupled, not talking, not uh, revisiting the past, none of that. Just single. Wanting new, new. Thank you. Okay, you got some guards up a little bit. A little bit of protective energy here. But I'm sure that's for a reason. Future love interests for Capricorn. That one wanted to come out. King of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, that's what we want. This could be another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is someone who's grounded. They have a good head on their shoulders. They are generous and they care for others. And you don't have to worry about this person. Very mature. This is hubby or wifey type material. Whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. But this is what's coming in for you. So that is fantastic. Tell me what this, how this person, maybe you guys might know this person. Tell me about this person coming in. 
a magician. Okay, so either you need to be manifesting this person or this person is manifesting you as well. Some of you are manifesting a soulmate. And what I always say is write it down. Write down everything about your dream person, your soulmate. What do you want in a spouse? Everything down to the last detail. You could talk about looks. You could talk about their career choice. You could talk about their characteristics and values. Write it all down and read it several times a day, a week, whatever for you. And you will be calling in your soulmate. Let's get these for the singles. That feels right. Okay, Spirit. So we want just a few messages about this person coming in for single Capricorns. <clears throat> uh, this person could be Taurus. Magician energy. Or Aries, creator energy. But they are very grounded. So, I'm going to tell you this, Capricorn singles, be careful how you guard your heart, okay? You don't want to scare somebody off. You want to at least seem like you're open to love, right? Even if your heart is in a lockbox and you lost the key three years ago, you got to be willing to open up to this person. So that is part of this manifestation, is healing your own heart. Tell me, Spirit, about the person coming in for Capricorn. Tell me about the relationship for single Capricorns. The relationship coming in for single Capricorns. Tell me about this relationship. Ooh, strategy. Okay, I feel like that goes hand in hand with this magician. So have a game plan. Implement daily routines. What did I just say? You have to manifest this soulmate, okay? That is what spirit is calling you to do. And this person is probably manifesting you as well. So if you are ready for love, okay? And I'm not sure if you are. I just feel like you're like, no, you don't wanna have it unless it's perfect. So you're, you may not be closed off to love, but you're closed off to, you know, we don't want no scrubs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you're closed off to anyone that's coming at you incorrectly. Or someone who just doesn't have every single thing that you want. If they're not a king of pentacles, you're not having it, single Capricorn. So this is going to be up to you as well to manifest this person into your life. So use this strategy. Have a game plan. Implement daily routines that support your goals. And be clear. Be clear about your desire. I can't see. Can you see? I know I gotta stop doing this because it takes forever. There we go. Okay, be clear about your desires. I'm telling you to the detail, write it down. Okay, and then on the bottom we have physical intimacy. So take it if it resonates. The topic is up for discussion. Choose healthy and balanced relationships and do it for the right reasons. So Spirit is just saying, don't hop into bed with just anybody just because your soulmate isn't here. Okay, it, do it for the right reasons. Don't share your energy with anybody unless they are that King of Pentacles, Capricorn, basically. Thank you so much. Let's jump to Aquarius. Aquarius, love messages. Love messages for couples or anyone who's involved in any way, shape, or form for Aquarius. And then we will do and then we'll do Aquarius singles as well. Tell me about Aquarius current energy and love. Ooh. Happy family. Some of you have found your wish fulfillment or things are just feeling very good for you or they will be during this Venus in Cancer time. So this is having it all. This is happy family. This is wish fulfillment. Ten of Cups is a really great card for current energy. So that's how you feel. What is the future outcome in this relationship? What is the future outcome or the energy coming up? What the hell? 
Oh, why did this came out for Capricorn? So, for some of you, this person or this energy uh, is very, I want to say witty or cunning, but I feel like you're going to have to be cunning. Okay, I'm not sure why or what this is exactly. You may have messages coming in. Eight of Wands on the bottom. Okay, Aquarius, so what I want to say is you may feel like things are going great right now and you may really feel like this person is everything to you, but as this Venus and Cancer energy is bringing up more and more things, questions about your stability, questions about uh, are my needs being met, am I satisfied, is this person really everything I want because in the future I feel like either you're going to run from this situation or you're dealing with someone who is avoidant or emotionally unattached possibly or this could be you um, Aquarius can detach emotionally you know most of the time so this is about either you up in your head or this person you may find out this person is not everything that you thought they were okay and I don't like readings like this but when these kind of cards come out it's something where you just don't trust it, okay? It's like maybe it looks good on the outside, but in the future you start to question things more and more. How does this person view Aquarius? How does Aquarius' person view them? How does Aquarius' person view them in love for Venus in Cancer? Aquarius. The Fool. This is Aries energy. They may see you as very optimistic. They may see you as unrealistic. Okay, and I'm just getting that type of gullible energy. This person may try to get one over on you. They don't see you in a negative way, but I'm just thinking because this energy can be naive. So, being that the Seven of Swords is here, I don't want you Aquarius to get your hopes up is all I'm saying. If it feels like Ten of Cups, but it has potential to be a betrayal or a lie or a cheat or a sneaky or something about it you don't trust. Just be careful. They view you as very open, optimistic, adventurous. Um, so this is a good thing. I encourage you to check out this mistrust here and why. Why that's there. Okay. Um, let's see here. What does Aquarius person want to say to them? Or how do they feel? Tell me about Aquarius in love for this Venus and Cancer transit. Aquarius in love relationships, coupled or involved. Unavailable. Yeah, that's what I, I was feeling, this unattachment. So either you're, you're unavailable or this person is unavailable. I feel like you thought they were going to be everything that you wanted. But it turns out uh, this person is unable to give you all that you deserve. Okay. And you you may have already known that. So if this person is a runner. Or this person doesn't call you back. Or you know they just seem detached. Or like they got a lot of baggage. Or they got a lot of shit they're dealing with. Really think about that because it seems like you're open and ready for love. It seems like you're wanting this wish fulfillment. And I'm sorry, but uh, this person, something is up with this person. Maybe they need to go on and heal somewhere else, you know, and then come back a little bit later. Let's get one of these couples. I feel maybe it's possible in the future or maybe, I mean, maybe that's just how you feel. In these first few days here, I think until June 6th, Venus and Cancer will be in opposition to Neptune. Okay, and so we just need to be careful because Neptune can make things a little bit delusional, a little bit illusional, like, uh, you know, unrealistic. Like maybe you see things better than they actually are. Tell me about Aquarius involved. Aquarius was involved with someone. Now this doesn't have to be your partner. It could be, or this could just be someone you've been talking to or dating. 
uh, someone that you obviously wanted something with. Okay, we landed on the floor. But it says, love the one you're with. This includes you, okay? So I feel like that's the main message here. Love yourself first, Aquarius, because you don't want to be jumping into situations where they're not coming correct. They're not giving you reciprocity. They're not open to the same type of wish fulfillment, very open energy as you. This person is avoidant. They could be love avoidant. Okay, or this could be you. Take it out, resonates. Don't jump into something if you're not ready. Love yourself first. This person um, or you aren't just aren't aren't in a position for love right now. Okay, so just play it smart, Aquarius. I know you will. Let's go to couples. I mean, not couples. I just said couples. Let's go to singles. Single Aquarius, not dealing with anybody. Want new, new. Single Aquarius. Looking for love. Current energy for single Aquarius. What is the current energy for single Aquarius, please? Ooh, you got two cards. Okay. Singles, you're wanting something new, you're wanting passion in your life, but you want it to be in alignment. So this is awesome. This is you uh, following your guidance, following your intuition, following what feels right. You definitely want a brand new beginning. You want to start something new. You're looking for something passionate, uh, but it has to be right. You know, it has to be the right timing. So tell me about single Aquarius, what is coming in? Whoa. Okay, it seems right now you're taking a pause. I feel like you could be uh, having a Leo come in. That would be your exact opposite uh, in the Zodiac, but it happens. So you could be having a um, another air sign coming in, but I feel like this is you resting, like taking a break, healing yourself and gaining your strength. Gaining your energy for what is to come. So if you don't have anyone coming in right now, this is Spirit's way of saying, hey, it's better. I know you want something new, but you already know it has to be in alignment. You already know that you're waiting on this High Priestess energy um, to let you know, to give you a sign. So in the meantime, you're healing, you're building strength, you're getting your confidence back. Queen of Swords reverse. Okay, so um, this person, whoever they are, they may not be talking to you right now. You may know who this person is or who you want to have a relationship with. But I think a Spirit is saying you're not ready, okay? You're not ready or this person isn't ready or there's no communication at this time. This could also be someone who speaks harshly or just isn't a good communicator. They, so what that means is they're not ready, okay? They're not ready yet, but you're preparing yourself. And so spirit is preparing this person. I know it's cliche and you always hear people say like, oh, God is preparing your person don't worry about it but seriously that's what it means i feel like tell me about singles oh that's not the one this is the one we're using these for single spirit single aquarius please tell me about this relationship or what do single aquarius need to be working on when it comes to love while venus is in cancer finger pointing Ooh. Okay, so our partners reflect our wounds. Okay, so number one, if you're not healed, and you're gonna know this as soon as I say it, when, you, when you've had past relationships that all kind of bring up the same issue, either in the relationship or you're attracted to the same type of person or it's bringing up the same issues in you, 
that's because it hasn't been learned. The lesson hasn't been learned, it hasn't been healed yet, and you're gonna keep attracting that same type of person. So that's why Spirit is saying, I know you want something new and you want to create this new passionate thing and you are going to get it, okay? But it has to be in alignment. So for right now, since you're not ready, okay, you may be hurt right now, single Aquarius, and, and so you're really not open to love. And you may be coming off kind of bitchy, just being honest. Okay, so we don't want to be blaming anyone else. We don't want to be finger pointing and all of that. Spirit is really saying, focus on you. Heal yourself. Gain your strength and confidence back. Trust in the universe. Trust in your higher self and your intuition and God, whatever you do. It says relationships mirror what we are. Okay, so take responsibility. This is your time. This is your chance. You cannot jump into something new or attract anything new until you're fully healed. So Spirit is saying, take responsibility for your part and whatever's happened in the past and for this energy here. Okay, this could have been you, it could have been someone you were dealing with. It's possible that someone is blaming you for things, but at the same time, use some self-awareness and figure out what it is that you need to take accountability for in your past, in your relationship, in your energy that you're giving out right now. Okay, because that is what we have to attract. The energy you put out is the energy that you are attracting. So make sure you take responsibility. Make sure you take this time to heal. It is vital for you, single Aquarius. Okay, let's jump to Pisces. Thank you, Spirit, for clear messages. Please tell me about Pisces in love, coupled or involved. And then we'll do singles or involved Pisces in love during the Venus in in Cancer transit please tell me about Pisces involved current energy for Pisces Pisces current energy involved or coupled in love Pisces Pisces, current energy in love. Okay. You guys got three. We got two twos. Okay, so some indecision, some choices need to be made. Two paths are possible. Uh, you may be thinking, do I want to be single? Do I want to be with this person? Do I want to be with this person? Or do I want to be with that person? You may be deciding between two, or you may be deciding between you. Do you like that? I like that. Right here we got your intuition going, okay, one path is clear, one path is not so clear. One path is like, oh, we could have this, we could plan this, this is so exciting, we could have this. Uh, and then over here, we're not so sure, but there's two possibilities. And we have you wanting to work on it, we have you wanting to invest. It's possible that you're putting in some type of work or effort into a relationship Okay, so you're deciding that you could plan a future with somebody and you want to see where it goes. So it's like you're willing to put in the effort and the work. You're willing to invest in something. Tell me about the future in this love situation for involved Pisces. Future love situation. Okay, so for some of you, you could decide to let this go eventually, okay, guided by your intuition, seven of wands in reverse, or you could just be letting your guard down, letting go and surrendering removes the resistance, it removes the blocks, okay, and this is being internally and externally guided by your higher self or guides or what whatever it is that you claim okay so I could see that two ways and I know that sucks because that's why you come to tarot because <laughs> you want confirmation but obviously there's so many in a general reading that uh, so for some of you I really feel more that it's letting go letting go of the outcome 
in order to just let the energy of the universe flow and in order to let your higher mind your higher guidance can you see get closer there okay so we're moving the blocks letting the energy flow tell me about this person how does this person view Pisces how does Pisces person they're involved with view them how does Pisces person oh no there it is okay this is the one I wanted to jump out five of Pentacles so this person could view you as uh, kind of like a burden this person could view you as financially unstable this person could view you as insecure this person could also feel like you have abandoned them or abandoned them in the past if you Pisces if you are taking time out to focus on you or you're just kind of throwing your hands up in the air with this letting go energy like mm, whatever it is you know that's what it's going to be this person may feel some sort of abandonment issues when it comes to you okay or they just may feel that the connection is unstable at this time Shh. sorry for the dogs Shh. tell me about pisces pisces love connection coupled or involved Love messages for involved Pisces, please. Whoa. Acceptance. Okay, so this is that same energy, that letting go, that surrender, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, so whatever has happened up to this point, it needed to happen. And whatever happens from here on out, it's for your highest good. You are definitely being protected, being guided, and shown, you know, and... and uh, I want to say allowed. So certain things are being allowed to happen to you or for you right now. And this person viewing you this way, it feels like they're very uncertain. Okay? Or they they feel they don't know maybe how you feel. Maybe they feel reluctant uh, to commit. But five of pinnacles can be positive if you're talking about building together working together and this is just like a sticky rough stage to get through if you're both willing to put in this work then i would say that's good that is your energy coming into it this person honestly may not be w willing to invest as much as you or this person may feel that this is your energy like you aren't willing to invest really as much as you are so you need to be clear okay Clearly, Spirit wants you to just let go right now. Um, not of the situation per se, but just of the energy of it needs to look a certain way, it needs to be this way, or it needs to happen on this time, or whatever. On the bottom, we have Twin Flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. Okay, so sometimes it takes time. Sometimes you're working on yourself. Sometimes you're healing. Sometimes you're working on your own stability. And this person may be thinking this. Like, I need to work on my own stability, my own insecurities, my own money and abundance before I can actually put in the effort that's necessary to meet you where you're at, Pisces. Okay, let's do it for single. Single Pisces. Please, spirit. Single Pisces love messages. Who's coming in? We want that new new. Single Pisces current energy. Single Pisces current energies when it comes to love. Single. Uninvolved. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. So you guys are looking pretty good. Okay, you're feeling good, you're feeling optimistic, you're feeling abundant, you're feeling like you could have anything right now. You could create anything, and you're very attractive right now. You're calling in a lot. Look on the bottom here. Ooh! Single Pisces. Single female, abundant, highly attractive, self-sustaining. 
Okay, tell me about this. Messages coming in. Okay, someone wants to communicate with you. You may be uh, starting like online dating. <clears throat> Some way of opening up communication and or things come in. Something comes in here and things just start moving quicker forward. Tell me about this person coming in for Pisces singles. Tell me about the energy of this person coming in for single Pisces. No. <laughs> single Pisces person coming in. Somebody wants to talk. Or you're just ready for love. You may be saying, where is this person at? Ooh, Hierophant. Okay, Taurus. Someone, whoever comes in, this could be the one. The next one, Pisces singles, could be the one. This is commitment. Okay, this is also higher knowledge. You may meet this person through work or school. You may be thinking about going back to school. But if this is a person and this is your person and that's what I asked. Okay, this could be Taurus energy. Or this could be commitment. This could be marriage. This could be the real deal. Higher guided connection coming in. Soulmate connection. We just, ooh, y'all better get out of here. Pisces singles, y'all are gonna get married. This is a twin flame card, 1111. You could be meeting a new soulmate. You could be calling in your twin flame. You could be calling in uh, your next soulmate. You know what I'm saying? Super committed, very stable home life. This is the marriage, uh, celebration, commitment, commitment. I'm thinking the next one coming in. Pisces singles, keep your eyes peeled. Watch for the signs. This person wants to come in because you're hot shit right now. All right, you are attracting people, lots of people. So whoever you choose, because you're gonna have multiple choices, whoever comes in for you, it's looking good. Let's see, let's see. Tell me about this coming in for Pisces singles. Pisces singles in love messages. Okay, this could be whatever spirit wants to say about you, what you need to do, what you're calling in, what the next relationship is. We just have to see what it is. And what is it? Single Pisces. Baggage. Not letting go. Hanging on to the past hurts and issues. Okay, so some of you, you got some stuff to work on, okay? So you might look like hot shit, but you got some stuff to work on before you get moving in this energy. Identify and heal your patterns. I know it's hard to read this. Okay, identify and heal patterns that impact your relationships. So before you get you know jumping into something with all this baggage let's let it go let's let go of this and figure out what we need to heal back together y'all better not someone may be trying to come in from your past okay now i don't know if i'm not going to tell you what to do but it is mercury retrograde on the bottom this could be your energy you may be wanting to get back together with someone else and you know that person isn't right and that could be this baggage okay and the reason you want to get back with this person possibly is because you didn't heal this thing and so mercury retrograde is having you revisit it because something isn't done here that doesn't mean you need to be with them it means you didn't finish this lesson or something has not been recognized Things flowing well again, a good chance of getting back together. Okay, listen, the, for a very small, very small amount of you, if you get back with someone, it could turn into commitment. Okay, but only if you're in a good place, they're in a good place. Yeah, abandonment, yeah. Missed opportunity. Someone could have broken up with you in the past or abandoned you, or you may have abandoned them in the past and missed out on an opportunity. Okay, but they see you as an opportunity. That Ace of Pentacles, I mean, you're looking good, singles. So I just want you to be careful, Pisces. 
you know in your heart, use your higher guidance, not the ego, if you should go back to something from the past. Thank you. Let's go to Aries. Aries, in love. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me about Aries. Coupled or involved. Coupled or involved Aries in love. While Venus is in Cancer. Current energy for coupled Aries. Aries, coupled energy, please. That jumped right out. Okay. Three of Wands reverse. So, you're not waiting anymore. I think you guys are looking out, you know. You may have been waiting on something, but you don't want to wait. So, you guys are ready for love. You're not trying to wait and see what's coming in. Y'all are out lurking, aren't you? You're out there trying to get it. You may be getting tired of somebody wanting to walk away from them because they had you waiting. You may have been ready to give them everything. Passion your love, your future, and maybe this person just wasn't willing. Look at this. You don't want to wait. And then on the bottom we have temperance, which means waiting. Have patience. Heal the things that need to be healed. Work with the energy here. Work with what you're given. Oh, that jumped right out. Equality reciprocity, giving and receiving, six of pentacles, your money could be looking good right now, okay? Or this could just be talking about the energy. If you wait, I feel like Spirit is saying, I know you don't want to wait, and you are impatient, Aries, a lot of the time. Okay, not all the time, but I feel like Spirit is saying, if you wait and work with this energy, things will be very good. This is like equal give and take. This is this person putting in as much as you are. Do not push this person just because you feel your needs aren't being met at this time. You know what I mean? Like if this could be the best relationship, you don't want to just push them into something right now that they're really not ready for. When in the future, I mean, they really might be. They might be the one, but you can't push them if it's not time. Ace of Swords. This is a new idea, epiphany, clarity about a situation and or a truth coming out. Clear communication. You may just need to sit down and talk with this person, Aries. You know, about things being more equal. Because right now it's like you can't see what's coming in. Or you can't, maybe you can't see a future with this person right now and you're tired of waiting around. Or maybe this person keeps you waiting. But it's because something needs to be healed. There's your energy on the bottom, the fool. You want a new beginning. Either you want to start over with this person, you have this epiphany, this clarity. Um, it's possible that the relationship is not equal. You may feel like you give everything to this person and they don't meet you in the middle. Okay, but this is the future. This is your future outcome, which is very good. Giving and receiving, abundant. Now this could just be talking about your money, but I'm, you know, these are love messages here. So, I feel like this is very good. This person may see you as very stern. Uh, this person may see you as everything they want, you know, in a new beginning. Or very smart. They may see you as very intelligent. Let's see what Spirit has to say about this. Tell me about Aries in love. Coupled or involved Aries in love. You may also be dealing with an air sign. We have earth and fire as well. So for those that don't know, that would be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Tell me about love messages. Love messages for Aries that are coupled or involved. Tell me about this situation for a coupled Aries. Come on. 
Tell me about Aries, please. Coupled Aries. Tell me about this relationship. What is this Three of Wands reverse? Yeah, you may not be willing right now to see where it's going, like, or you're just not feeling very optimistic about where it's going, but Spirit's saying it's going to get better. You need to be a more clear communicator, I feel. Awakening. Wow, yes, this is this epiphany. So you may be having an epiphany or some clarity, or this person may be getting some clarity, but somebody is going through a huge spiritual transformation and awakening. Okay, and I feel that once this is complete, well, it's never really complete, but once this phase or this leveling up is complete for this person, whether that's you or your person, things will definitely get better. It's like it opens their eyes or it opens your eyes to who this person is for you and things become more equal. You're willing to give more, they're willing to give more and the relationship becomes uh, very reciprocal and pleasing and stable. So that's awesome. Okay, let's do single Aries. Who want that new new? Single Aries who want someone new. Not involved, not coupled. Single. Single Aries love messages, please. Uninvolved. Single Aries, current energy, current energy for single Aries. Ooh, the Emperor. So you're definitely standing in your power. You have the authority in your own life. You're not taking any bombs, okay? You're not taking any shit. You're standing up for what you want and you're the boss right now. And that is your energy. So that represents Aries. Tell me about this person. So single Aries, you have this card which means um, maybe sleepless nights, too much anxiety, too much worry. You may be putting too much pressure on yourself. Okay, or the next person that comes in, they could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this person may see you as really stern or hard to get through to, so they may see you as very intimidating. Okay, and then we have this Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. Whatever comes in for you next, single Aries, it's going to be very slow moving, but there is definitely an opportunity here. So if you take it slow... This person is going to be feeling, I don't know why they're very worried about this connection, okay? Or maybe this could be your energy. But it's a very, like, anxious energy. Let's see, tell me more about the person coming in for single Aries. King of Wands. Okay, this could be a Leo you're dealing with, or this could be another Aries or Sagittarius. This person uh, could be very passionate, okay? They may want to build with you. They may want to move towards a future with you, uh, another fire sign. This person is very confident. But it's like when it comes to you, I don't know. It's like maybe you get under their skin. Maybe they're they're afraid that you won't reciprocate the energy. Uh, this person, I don't know why there's some sort of fear here, okay? Some, this person may be afraid to talk to you or to bring up the situation or to bring up the fact that they maybe want to date you because you're both coming in with a very fierce energy you may seem to be very intimidating to this person and you guys may bump heads um, especially if it's another fire sign so this person seems very confident but when it comes to you for some reason they're shaking up we got ace of cups on the bottom so it's definitely possibilities of new love here this person is just going to have to continue to work up their confidence. 
Let's ask about this single for Aries, please. Single Aries. Tell me about the situation. Thank you. Subconscious mind. Recondition your subconscious mind to change your life. Subliminals rewrite belief systems. So, I'm sorry that you can't see that. I have to be very still. Here we go. Okay, so this person or you have a fear of this relationship, okay? And that may be why you're coming off so stern uh, and so, like, very in control. I feel that you may need to think about how you feel about love and kind of let go of the need to control things a little bit. Let somebody else take charge because this person is coming in kind of with a similar energy as you. Okay, but much more passionate, I think. So, you may be afraid of love. Um, you may be afraid of getting hurt. And so, if you have a preconditioned idea of love that you're going to get hurt, things don't turn out, you know, I have to protect myself, things never work out for me, blah, blah, blah. And you have this built-in anxiety and fear towards love. So this person wanting to come through can't really come through because you have this very fierce energy. Like, I can do it all on my own. So this person will feel, you know, that they're not enough because... You won't let them meet you halfway. Right? Work on that, single Aries. Let's jump to Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Taurus, love messages for involved Taurus during the Venus and Cancer transit, please. Well, that was easy current energy. You're in your head, Taurus. You're thinking too much. You feel trapped. Uh, you may be feeling trapped in a relationship. You may be just really focused on the negative things. You may be wanting more freedom in a relationship. Um, for some of you, you can't stop thinking about the things in the past, the things that have happened, or worrying about what might happen in the future. Couple Taurus, tell me about this person or the future of this relationship for Taurus. Future of this relationship for involved Taurus, please. Involved Taurus, future, future of this relationship. Okay. Tower wanted to jump out. So something's going to come to a head here, okay? It could be a shock, it could be a surprise, it could be a secret, something coming out. But something has to be changed. So whether this person breaks up with you, you break up with them, something earth-shattering comes out to change things. Could be about money. We have Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. Um, you could find out something about money or somebody may lose their job. Okay, but... You may be afraid that, like, it's too good to be true. And, like, you're just, like, waiting for the ball to drop. Tell me about this person. How does this person view Taurus? How does this person see you, Taurus, in love? How does Taurus' this person view Taurus? This is for coupled or involved Taurus. How does their person view them? Temperance, okay? Sagittarian energy. Very calm, very patient. Uh, they may view you as healing. They may view you as not being ready. They may see uh, this as something that they need to work on or, or see you as uh, maybe like you have a little bit of baggage, some things that you need to be working on. But I feel like this person's willing to be patient with you and work on it. Okay, it's definitely having to work with the energies. This person may feel like they have to convince you all the time that this is right or that they want to be with you or that this is good for the both of you because you're in your head about this. 
ten of wands on the bottom, someone's either really putting in a lot of effort to the situation. This person actually may be trying to put in a lot of effort, but it's like it's still not enough. I feel like for some reason they're having to convince you. Maybe something comes out or they need forgiveness or you need forgiveness or something comes out. And they have to, like, get you to work on it. Get you to be patient with them. Get you to want to heal and, and fix what is broken. There's a lot of effort being put in here. But this is getting really heavy. So this is either a really stressful burden for you or your person. Okay, but this is, like, the energy of, of being super stressed and burdened. Like, you're ready to lay it down. Or this is someone who's really willing to put in the effort and the hard work. To make it happen and so this is action this is different than, than your energy because you're all in your head let's see about this messages for a couple Taurus please coupled or involved Taurus tell me about this relationship please love messages for coupled or involved Taurus Involved. Tell me about this love, love relationship for Taurus, please. Involved Taurus relationship. Love messages. Interference. Okay. Yeah, so this tower moment, whatever this is, or this could have already happened or this could be about to happen. But this is like an external party. Something uh, interfering. So, for some reason, you're very worried about this. I don't know if you're the one that went outside of the relationship, or maybe it's like your friends or your family getting involved, or maybe it's a work situation. Something, it could be involving work, someone at work, something with money. Something is interfering here. This person wants you to be patient and, and work on it with them. So... You gotta take this how it resonates, Taurus. I'm not sure if you're the one um, bringing in interference, or they are, or maybe it's something that's out of both of your control. You know, if one of you lost your job, you may be very concerned or worried about that. And this person is just really wanting you to to be there for them and support them. So we have interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. It could literally be anything. I'm trying to get it to focus. Come on. There we go. So, Taurus, you got something going on here. Something going on here, boo boo. I can feel this tension, this worry. Okay, um, this person really just, I don't know if they're listening to their higher guidance or they're wanting you to, to see the situation differently. Like, just be patient with me. Really feeling like this person is, this could be your energy as well. Okay, take it out, resonates. But I feel like this person, or you, is just really trying to get over this tower moment. Or maybe one or both of you knows something is going on and it just hasn't fully come out yet. But when the truth comes out, this person is still going to want to work on this with you. So if you want that, get out of your head. There's definitely some sort of interference that needs to be dealt with. Okay, Taurus. Let's go to Taurus Singles, please. Single Taurus, looking for love, looking for new love. Singles. Tell me about single Taurus, please. Looking for love. Single Taurus. Current energy. Singles. Ooh, King of Cups. 
So you may be uh, having your eyes on a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, or this could just be you, single Taurus, very mature, very emotionally um, stable and secure, in control of your emotions. You're grounded. This card normally doesn't give me that grounded feeling, but it's an emotional card, but it's like, you're not going to jump into something unless it's perfect for you emotionally. Unless they're very mature and they meet you right where you are. I like that. Tell me about what's coming in for single Taurus, please. What do we have coming in for the single Tauruses? Taurians. Singles. What's coming in? What's coming in for our single Taurus, please, Spirit? Hmm. Okay. You may be juggling more than one person. Or you may have an Earth sign coming in. A fellow Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn. But this is someone who's weighing out the pros and cons. You know, they're trying to make a choice here. You may have a choice between two people. Or you may just be more focused on your money right now. Okay, you may be thinking about someone from your past. Okay, you may be juggling someone from your past and someone new. Or, you know, at least in your mind. But you being King of Cups energy right now, and this coming out Six of Cups is like maybe wanting to give to someone that you already know. Someone from your past or someone maybe you're involved with at work. Someone that works with you. Could have your eyes on, on somebody that works with you. Let's see this. King of Pentacles on the bottom. It could be your boss, actually. <laughs> King of Pentacles is like a businessman. So you may have met this person through work or through some sort of money situation. You know, he could work at the bank. I don't know. But it's definitely having to do with money, planning, juggling, trying to figure things out for the future. Thinking of the most stable way. You may be thinking of a stable way to approach someone from your past. Tell me about single Taurus, please. You're open and you're ready for love. And so you may have your eyes on... You know, watching somebody from the past. Maybe a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or it could be Earth. Tell me about single Taurus love situation while Venus is in Cancer. Anyways, you got physical intimacy. The topic is up for discussion. Choose healthy, balanced relationships and do it do it for the right reasons. Okay, so when we're talking about getting physical with somebody, you know, you you don't want to jump in bed with somebody if it's not right. You may be thinking about this person from your past that possibly you were intimate with before. And this Venus in Cancer transit, it's going to be bringing up like those older situations, those in, intimate situations where you're remembering how that felt. So I can definitely see this for you, for you, the single Taurus. Make sure you do it for the right reasons, okay? Don't just jump into bed with somebody. I always talk about that. Please don't share your energy with somebody uh, if it's not right or just on a whim. Because you will be dealing with that energetically for some time. And you're taking on everyone they've ever been with. And you're giving them everyone you've ever been with. So let's not do that unless we're for sure it's going somewhere. Okay. Thank you, single Taurus. Let's jump to Gemini. Single Gemini. No, oh, just kidding. I get so confused. There's just so many signs. Alright, we're doing coupled. Coupled. 
couple that involved Gemini first, please. Current energy of coupled and involves Gemini. Couples. Gemini, current energy for involved or coupled Gemini while wow, Venus is in Cancer, please. Energy for Gemini in a relationship. Tell me about the current energy of Gemini, please, Spirit. Where are you at, Gemini? Gemini's in love. Here we go. Okay, this is your current energy. You may be taking a break. Maybe on a pause. You may be stopping and thinking about something. Sorry. Four of Swords energy. So, this is healing. This is you taking a break. You may be going on vacation. But this is like... Really thinking about where you are. Healing from heartbreak. Healing from past issues. And I don't know why I'm hearing working on your confidence. You may be taking a pause in a relationship because it maybe it just doesn't feel right at this time. Okay, maybe you're taking a break. Or maybe you're going on vacation with this person, but you're definitely doing some healing. On the bottom, we have Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You could have someone wanting to come towards you and take action. You may have already had offers from this person. This is very romantic, very lusty, very adventurous and fun energy. It's like maybe this person is coming towards you wanting to start a new uh, phase with you, wanting to start over or wanting to reignite the love that was there. Um, or the romance or the sex energy. Okay, trying something new. Tell me about the future of this relationship for Gemini. So, this is positive. This person definitely wants to come in to talk or there's a lot of communication going on. A lot of passionate communication, new romance, new ideas, new adventure. You guys may be So you may have just been recently talking about this or this person definitely wants to come towards you. Okay, or you're thinking about how you can move forward. The future looks bright. This is like acknowledging the possibilities expanding what the possibilities are and like waiting this is like waiting for your ships to come in waiting for things to get better waiting for the relationship to level up this is definitely building with someone anytime you see a three in numerology is about collaboration and building and wanting to work with this person wanting to move forward with this person how does Gemini's person view them? How does Gemini's person view Gemini? King of Pentacles. Well, sorry. Okay, so this person views you as very stable, very secure. You got your own money. Um, and you're disciplined, firm in your beliefs, high morals. This is a hubby or wifey type energy. This is someone who's stable and grounded. Someone that you build with. So this person views you as a safe option. As a very stable and grounded, comfortable option. We also have King of Swords on the bottom. So two kings are very logical and grounded. This person sees you as very smart. Um, someone who has well thought out plans and someone who just thinks things through. You're very stable energy. So right now you're kind of taking a pause or reflection or you will be doing that while Venus is in Cancer through this transit. I think that you are hopeful about a future and you're kind of just waiting to see. But this person definitely views you as having your shit together. Uh, and you're, you're very logical. So let's see what the love messages say. Tell me 
any love messages or Geminis who are involved, please. I think you're you're asking, is this someone? You're reflecting and, and kind of taking this pause and thinking back to everything you've been through with this person <clears throat> and asking like is this really someone I can build with Gemini you got twin flame you got the twin flame card this is a divine counterpart connection so in some way shape or form your twin flame is involved okay you could be thinking about your twin flame. This person you're involved with could be your twin flame. You could know who your twin flame is, but maybe you chose not to go that way. Um, you could also be thinking back, reflecting on your twin flame. For some of you, this definitely is your twin flame, okay? For others of you, you know who your twin flame is, and maybe it's not the person you're with, but this still is somehow affecting this. I don't know, for many of you, possibly this is your twin flame. We have vulnerability on the bottom. You can be completely open with this person. So I think that you are healing right now. I think with those two kings, you can come off kind of tough, kind of harsh. Um, and sometimes too logical or too grounded. So allow yourself to be vulnerable with this person. Allow yourself to show more of your emotional side, uh, more of how you feel and more passion, more fire, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, okay? So allow yourself to be vulnerable. But it looks good. The future looks, it looks bright. Thank you, Gemini. Let's jump to Gemini singles. Single Geminis looking for new love or open to new love. Wow, what the heck? Those two just jumped out again. Wow. Maybe, okay, okay, follow me here. Coupled or singled, this could be for either of you, but definitely Gemini. This just came out before for Gemini couples. So for some of you, you're dealing with two. You're dealing with possibly two soulmates, okay? Or you're involved with one and still thinking about the other, even if you're not, you know, in a relationship with both. For some reason, one is still on your mind. So we have here an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But we also have Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Wow. Okay. Uh, if not, if you're not dealing with two, one of these or both is just your energy. This could be you looking for the best possible outcome, going through uh, internal transformation and thinking things through. But you want it to be stable and grounded. Okay, I don't know why that jumped out again. Okay, single Gemini. Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. Sun reversed, okay? So single Gemini, you may be going through a period of temporary unhappiness or depression. Sadness. This could be involving children or a Leo. Um, but the sun in reverse is just kind of feeling unhappy. You may be going through a period of healing as well. We have the moon. So you could be going through just an emotional time. We have that lunar eclipse in Sagittarius uh, with the south node. So there's definitely a lot of energy in your sign right now. We do have the sun in Gemini, Mercury. Let's see. Who is coming in for single Gemini? 
single Gemini looking for new love who is coming in and this could just be spirit saying you're not ready I mean and, and if this is how you're feeling and this resonates then you already know that if you're feeling very unhappy you could be looking for love or you could have just been feeling like you weren't having a lot of luck in love you do have someone coming towards you okay someone that wants to talk or someone who possibly wants to give you an offer of some kind or an apology this is a loving communication or someone just opening up to you okay or this could be you wanting to open up to new love but this is Pisces Scorpio cancer energy emotional energy loving energy yeah definitely two pages you could have two offers coming in two different people or this person is really wanting to come in and talk to you and, and kind of confess their love to you. This person, uh, be careful because this person may be more on the lusty side. Okay, it seems like they do have love for you, but they may just be more intrigued by the physicality of it all. Okay, or like the new, the newness, the adventure. Either way, pages are good. Pages bring news. So someone wants to come in and talk or come in and offer something, okay? Or you are thinking about this. Please tell me about this situation for Gemini Singles, please. Gemini Singles. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Um, that could also have been for the coupled or involved Gemini as well. Gemini singles, tell me about this new opportunity. Definitely somebody wants to come in and talk here. Hmm. We've got narcissism, manipulation, control, infidelity, disregards boundaries, egocentric, entitlement, selfish, rule breaker. Okay, that could be this uh, Leo reverse energy, the sun reverse. Okay, you could have been dealing with a narcissist in the past, or you could know this person that wants to come back around and talk as a narcissist, then definitely you want to just avoid that. I'm trying to get this to focus but it's hard for me to hold still what does this say okay and we also got inner work heal yourself first you'll attract what you are choose partners that want to grow with you so with this being said if you're feeling unhappy or that you need to heal something or, or feeling like a failure in love which is kind of that sound of reverse energy you have some inner work to do now single Gemini's okay just recognizing those aspects of yourself so that you can be happier on your own because if you're not you're only going to attract the narcissist or the people who need to do inner work as well. The people who are not healed and not ready for love. So just keep that in mind when this person or these multiple people come around to talk. One does seem loving, caring, and then I get this energy of this person just being very lusty. Just maybe only wanting sex with you. If you're in an unhappy place here, Definitely do not share your energy sexually with anyone. Okay, that will only bring you more pain. Okay, thank you. Let's jump to Cancer. Involved or coupled Cancers. Current energy for, wow. Okay, so someone's willing to put in some work here. Queen of Cups, this could be your energy. That's very uh, Cancerian, motherly, emotional, sensitive, 
loving, compassionate energy. And then we have this Ten of Wands here. So I feel like in this Venus in Cancer, you guys are really going to be feeling a lot better. Um, and so you're going to be revisiting and thinking about your relationships and putting in more effort, taking more action towards these relationships, maybe committing more to these relationships, doing more, okay? It's like you're opening up to doing more in this relationship. For some of you, you feel like you're being taken advantage of though and that, feel that feeling is getting stressful. That's just for some of you. Um, maybe like you feel like you're over giving Okay, you may be giving too much of yourself to a situation, but we're going to see here. Tell me about coupled cancer's future. King of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy. This is someone who's very grounded. This is like a daddy energy or a hubby energy. Um, you may be looking for someone who's very grounded. They're very abundant. They're very generous. Uh, they take care of you. They have your back. Okay, so... If this is your future, this is either who you're dealing with um, or this is what the relationship is evolving into, a very stable, grounded energy where it's like you have the abundance you need, you feel very secure and safe. So this could be what you're working towards. Giving love, moving towards a very stable, secure place. We have the hangman on the bottom. So for some of you, you could be dealing with Pisces or you could just be taking a temporary pause and, and reflecting. I mean, you definitely are. You have the full energy, which is Aries. So this could be how this person sees you. Um, very optimistic, very hopeful about your future. Very open to the possibility uh, of a bright future. This could be a new beginning in a relationship that's already existing or this could be getting more serious in a relationship evolving to a higher level here and we have magician on the bottom so whatever you want you can create okay you're manifesting this new beginning we have Aries energy here earth signs fire and water Tell me about coupled cancers, please. Tell me about this relationship for cancers who are involved. Thank you. Obstacles. Yeah, that's this right here. <laughs> it's like you've been putting in effort, you've been putting in love, but maybe you just feel blocked in, in getting to the stable, secure place. So you're going to need this new beginning. I think you're hoping for something to come through for you that shows you or proves to you like, yeah, this is the right thing. And then you'll be more open and willing to give more and have this new beginning. Obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So you need to heal some things about you, possibly security, you know, insecurities about money or what you bring to the table or uh what your self-worth is. What is your value? Because you have the love, you have the emotion side down. I feel like you're sensitive and you're open to it, but there's just, it's been taking a lot of work to get to this place where you feel safe. So you're definitely wanting to get there and it seems like you will. I mean, that's the future of the relationship and we have the fool being a brand new beginning. Okay, so only you know this, but if you can't overcome these obstacles, then the fool would mean that this is a brand new beginning elsewhere. Okay, if you do overcome these obstacles, and I think that you will, then you have this really bright, stable, secure future, possibly with an earth sign. Okay, so that looks really good. Let's do singles for cancer. Cancer singles, please, in love while the Venus uh, Cancer transit takes place. Single Cancers, tell me about the current energy of single Cancers in love. 
Okay, there it is. Your might be focused on your money. Four of Pentacles, focused on your money, focused on your stability, your future, your structure, your foundation. So, for some of you, you're closed off to love at this time because you're focused on money. For others of you, you may just be guarding your heart a little bit. A little bit guarded to what's coming in. For some of you, you may be working through security issues. The same as the couple cancer, really. So, just because you're in a relationship, in a you know couple or involvement, or just because you're single doesn't matter. Cancer, a lot of cancers will be going through the same things at the same time. Or people with heavy cancer placements in their chart. You're going to be aspected by this Venus in Cancer more so because it's in your sign. So you'll be thinking more about home and family and love and security. And is it stable? So this is what you're looking for at this time. Single Cancers. Tell me about what's coming towards the single Cancer at this time. What's coming in for the single Cancers? Okay, this popped out in reverse. So you're looking for something equal. And you may have been dealing with someone in the past who wasn't giving as much as you were. Okay, but since this energy here of like you being closed off, definitely dealing with some past hurts, something could have ended recently. There's some past pain and suffering that's asking to be healed. Something that has to do with reciprocity and value. So this could have to do with your business, with your money. Um, but I really feel like this is about your self-worth and like stop over giving. You know, when they're not giving to you the same way. So the next person that comes towards you may not be offering what you are. At the same time, just because it's unequal doesn't mean it's unequal only on your side. Like, you could be the one that's not giving. You could be the one who's closed off. See how he's holding on to his money? This card represents someone who may be trying to control things at times. Who um, maybe needs to let go a little bit, you know, and let love in. Maybe you need to give more to a situation. But for some reason, this this is unstable. It's not equally yoked. So you could be coming from two different backgrounds. This person um, may make more money than you. Okay, and I say that because you're worried about your money right now. Either way, this person can't can't give to the situation the way you can. So either they're giving too much and you're not giving enough or, or you're giving way too much and they're not. Something causes this past pain here, some kind of betrayal. And I think that's what you're needing to heal because something has affected your self-worth, Cancer, to where you feel as though maybe you're not good enough. Maybe you feel that you don't have anything to offer this person. Tell me about this person coming in. Okay, this person that comes in wants to build with you. Three of Pentacles. This is about building a, a strong foundation. This could be building a home as well. So this person coming in could be an earth sign. We have all earth here. So Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. We also have strength on the bottom. So this could be you wanting to build with somebody. This person's going to have to prove themselves to you. That's what I really feel. Because coming in, you don't think it's equal, but then like eventually you come around and see this person is worth it. So you're gonna put into this, you're gonna end up collaborating with this person and building with this person. And this is gonna help you build back your self-confidence, your trust in love, your belief in love, your trust in the universe. Your trust in your own self and your, and your self-worth and value is going to increase as your confidence builds back up here. Okay, this is Leo, so you may be coming um, coming into something with a Leo, but it's a very grounded energy. Aside from the Six of Pentacles, you just got to make sure it's equal, okay? Don't give too much to somebody that, that's not giving in to you, that's not building and in, in investing in you, because that's what this energy is about, building together. Okay, let me pull one of these for you guys. Tell me about single cancers, please. Single Cancers. 
in this situation. Leaving space. Okay. So this is about not controlling too much too, like letting go, okay? Making space for someone to come in. Give yourself time to heal, right? From that past heartache, we saw that Ten of Swords. The right one can't come in if the wrong one is there. And it says clear a drawer for them. So make space for this person to come in. I'm trying to get it to focus. Sorry, I know it takes forever. Anyway, uh, this could be spirit saying, when this person tries to come in, the next one, you might have to tell them no. Okay, this may not be the same person here. So someone may come in, the wrong person, and if it looks unequal, then possibly that, that needs to be the one that you say no. And then the next one that comes in will be the one that wants to build with you. So for some of you cancers, uh, single cancers It's not going to be the next one that comes in. It's going to be the one after Okay, and you'll know because it will feel unequal And that's just for some of you we have strategy on the bottom too. be clear about your intentions and what you want Manifest your soulmate by writing down everything that you want and then leave space for them to come in Don't mess around and fool with this person. That's not going to give you what you want because then that other one that really wants to give you what you want, give you everything and build with you, can't come in. You've got to leave space. Okay, thank you, Cancer. We're going to go to Leo now. Leo, coupled and involved. Coupled, involved, talking, whatever you want to call it. you got somebody that you are involved with. Not just... Somebody, you know, that you watch on social media, but someone you actually talk to and have a relationship with or are taking space from or whatever. Leo, tell me current energy for coupled or involved Leos. Current energy, please, spirit. Involved Leos. Love messages for this Venus and Cancer transit. The sign of Leo, please. Current energy. All right, we've got nine of wands. So you're definitely protecting your heart at this time. You may have your guards up. You may not be trusting a situation, but you're in it. Okay, because you're coupled, you're involved or whatever it is. You may be uh, in an energy of wanting to work on it, really pushing through and working on it. Um, but at this point, this could be, there's some sort of resistance here. Okay, so this is like almost of the point of breaking through. Ten would be breaking through, which could be giving up or just pushing extremely hard until you get what you want out of it, like putting in the effort and making it happen for yourself. But at this point, you're not quite there yet. You're just in this energy of kind of like a resistance of like you want it, but you're not sure about it. You want it, you're kind of uncertain. You want it, but you're protecting your heart. You want it, but you don't quite trust it. But you're involved with this person. So let's see. Tell me about the future of this relationship for Leo. Those flew right out. Okay, so something happens. Swift action comes in. Someone decides something and they come in with an offer. This is very fast moving. You may be deciding, like, forget it. I'm just going to go for it. Because here you're, it's like you're right on the edge of deciding. Like, am I going to fight for this? Or am I going to let this go? Because it feels good. But you just don't quite trust it. It's like, well, what if I give my everything to this person, this relationship, and then it doesn't work out? That's not going to happen here, Leo. Because as soon as you decide to go all in, to take action, then you get this wedding card. Twin flame card, 11-11. This is a... A stable commitment. This is a foundation. This is two people working on something together. This is a firm foundation and it's a commitment. This is the wedding card, the marriage card. So for some of you, what it's up to you once you decide to let your guard down, okay? Either or. Or you're in this like, I'm fighting for this. I'm going to fight for this. 
And either way, it starts to move forward quickly. Now, some of you may be dealing with an air sign. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or some of you have this in your chart. But we have a lot of fire here. It's about, are you willing to work at a commitment? You, I think you feel it's still unstable because you're still unsure. But it's about making this decision. So I feel this Venus in Cancer is going to bring this up for you. It's going to bring it up for you. Is this person someone you want to commit to? Is this stable? Can you see this foundation or whatever you've built with this person, whatever you've been working toward and fighting for? I think you're going to notice or, or realize, have an epiphany during this Venus in Cancer transit that this person does meet your needs. This person is trustworthy and so is the relationship and it can be very stable and then things start moving forward, okay? Whether this person comes in to talk to you um, about commitment, Knight of Swords is usually some type of action or an offer. You could be getting news about somebody or this person just swoops in, saves the day, we're getting married, you don't have a choice <laughs> and I feel like that's what you need is like a push. I feel like you know it's something you want, but you're just, it's like you're right on the edge. You just need a little push from this Knight of Swords to be like, hey, we're doing this. <laughs> Do this with me, you know? Uh, Emperor on the bottom, you could be dealing with an Aries or you could have strong Aries placements in your charts, but that's just really about taking control of the situation. How does this person view Leo? How does Leo's person view them? How does Leo's person view Leo? So it's like really about you deciding the chariot, Cancer. Um, so this person views you as knowing what you want, someone who goes after what they want, someone who is a reliable someone who makes a choice and then sticks with it the chariot is cancer energy but the chariot is also someone who who chooses a new path who kind of forges their own path like decide what you want and go for it so I think that's how this person is viewing you let's see what the Oracle cards have to say for Leo coupled and involved please spirit Leo, thank you. Shuffle. Okay. Tell me about this relationship for involved Leos, please. Thank you. Ooh, someone is secretly yearning for you. So this person is longing for you. Or this could be you longing for them. And that's that feeling I get. It's like you really want this, but you need a push. You need, whether some news comes in, something comes in that changes things. And it's like, yeah, okay, now we can do this in the future. You know, this commitment becomes very stable, very secure, like very committed. Okay, but at this time, there's still interference. And external parties intruding on this relationship. This could be a third party situation, okay? And that may be why you're on the fence about it. Um, but this could also be work. It could be family. It could be friends. Anything that interferes or comes between this and this. You know, the energy of protecting yourself and kind of not knowing, having a little bit of hesitance and resistance, and then just going all in. Literally going all in. Like, this is like taking a stand, taking your life back, taking control of a situation and moving forward. All right. So I feel like once this gets out of the way, something comes in about this interference and then it's gone. Okay, so whether you hear what you need to hear from this person or something changes when it comes to 
how you think about something or how you view this relationship some sort of clarity or truth comes out and then everything is fine stable secure committed and you fully jump into this thing wholeheartedly i really like this okay let's get this uh leo singles please spirit Leo singles, please. One more. Okay, tell me about current energy for single Leos, please. Well, okay, Knight of Wands and the Star. So we have someone here, this could be you. Um, or someone you're dealing with. This is your current energy, but I don't know. It's like you found some sort of enlightenment. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but someone or you wants to really take action here. It's very passionate, new adventure, kind of lusty, a little bit romantic, but this is like new love. This is going for it. This is taking action towards something very creative and passionate and new. And it's something that lights you up and it ignites you. You've had some sort of epiphany or, or this is you going towards your wish come true. For Leo, some of you singles, this will be an Aquarius coming in. But for others of you, this is just your higher guidance. You're looking for something brand new, passionate. And the star is enlightenment. So whether you gain clarity about what you want or or you're just like, you know what, I, I found out like what my wish come true really means for me. It's like you're learning about yourself and understanding more about what it is that you really want in a relationship, single Leos, and then you're like ready to go for it. You're very open right now to new uh, romantic and intimate and uh, sexual relationships. <laughs> well, let's see, what's coming in? What's coming in for a single Leo, please? What's coming in for our single Leos? The tower. Okay, so the tower is good or bad. I mean, it's always good in the end, but it's kind of scary for some people because it's a surprise. It's a shock. It's something that comes in and shakes things up. Pluto energy. So, um... Let's see, who is coming in? Somebody's going to come in and shake your world up. Single Leos. It could be someone from your past that you're not expecting. Sort of like a confession from someone from your past that you had no idea. What else? That's just for some of you. Ace of Swords. A truth comes out. A clarity. An epiphany. A clear communication. Wow, so this is coming towards you. This could be um, someone who is very intelligent. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, very strong mental energy, a brand new beginning, a new idea, an inspiration. So this is something really good, okay? And it's like a truth. I really feel, I'm getting this confession energy. Like someone comes in, literally shakes your world. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles on the bottom, brand new. Brand spanking new abundance, uh, an incredible opportunity that is honest and very logical, and it makes sense. And you were not expecting this. You're not going to see this coming. Summer love. I can feel it. Summer loving. Leo singles. I like it a lot. Let's see. Tell me about single Leos for this Venus and Cancer transit, please. Tell me about this relationship coming in. This new idea. This could be a career also for some of you. Some of you, you may get a new career, like this new business idea, startup type thing, and then you meet someone at your job. Whatever it is, it comes in and it's shocking. You had no idea it was coming. And it's because you gained this clarity and you're willing. You're willing to move towards something and take action on it. And you're, it's like you're being guided. 
You're really following your heart on this. Tell me about single Leos, please. For the Venus in Cancer transit. Thank you. Fake profile. Liar, scammer, creeper alert. Do a background check. Uh-oh. <laughs> not genuinely interested or not who you think they are. Wow. So, for some of you, that could be your tower moment. That could be the truth that comes out. Okay? So, for some of you, you, someone may have taken action towards you. It could be an Aquarius. Okay, single Leos. Watch your back. But, that is, would definitely explain the craziness. Okay, liar, scammer, creeper alert, do a background check. And that would also explain this truth coming out. Okay, or that they're not who you think they are. That's only for some of you. Let's see if we can get another card here. So some of you definitely be careful not to get catfished this summer. Okay, because you are so open and willing for love. And especially online, be so careful with this Aquarian energy and Ace of Swords energy too. Any air is like online shit. It's internet stuff and you just don't want to deal with foolishness. Someone that looks like, someone that looks like everything you ever wanted, your wish come true, right? But really it's the tower. Really it's a life-changing lesson that brings you this new clarity like, okay. But let's just see because that's not for all of you. So tell me about the other group of Leos. Okay. Tell me about the other group of single Leos here who will be finding a brand new situation. Which is not catfished. Tell me about single Leos. Okay, money issues. You could be fighting over money, heart, oh, heal your root chakra, lack of trust, fear and safety. Ooh. So many issues may be at play for you, for who you're attracting, so be careful. If you come from a lack mentality, lack of trust, fear and safety, security, survival, control. Okay, so we obviously don't want to do that. Why won't it focus? Okay, single Leos. So, you could definitely heal. This is healing. Healing, having patience, working on your root chakra, okay? Which could also be Knight of Wands, root chakra, fire energy, uh, romance, passion, material things, money. And I feel that obviously healing these money issues will bring in something good for you. This tower doesn't have to be bad, okay? But watch out for this fake profile. On the bottom it says, feel great first. Let's read it. Feel the feeling of having a partner in a healthy relationship. Raise your vibration and then you will attract the same. So you're attracting however you feel. So feel, why oh, won't, please focus. Thank you. So feel great first, okay? Worry about you and loving yourself first. Then you will attract that and you won't be having these fake people online trying to get after you. Okay, Leo? Definitely with all those aces and all that, and the, the star, be careful that someone is not what they seem, okay? Because it looks good on the outside, so that's what you have to be careful. Definitely do a background check, okay? Uh, if they seem too good to be true, they might just be. Tell me about Virgo, please. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get rid of that Three of Swords on the bottom and it just popped out again. Virgo, are you healing from a heartbreak? Okay, Spirit, tell me about Virgo, please. Current energy for involved Virgos. Someone involved or in a relationship. 
Current energy involved Virgos, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh gosh. This card came out already twice. So, it seems like you wanted to plan with this person, you wanted to build with this person, you thought things were going to work out good. Okay, and, and you still have other options here. I feel like you, you don't want to jump into anything because you don't trust it. Or you feel that you were betrayed. So now you're looking elsewhere. See how they're looking away from each other? This person, whoever you're dealing with, they may have really hurt you or you may have found out that they lied or there's something you don't trust about it. So you're, it's like you're kind of keeping your options open right now. You are involved with someone, okay? And, and I don't know why you don't trust this person. It may have ended recently and like you're talking again or you're thinking about talking again. Let's see. Tell me about the future of this relationship for Virgo. Tell me about the future for this relationship, future outcome for this relationship. Okay, Emperor and Four of Wands. So I think you just have to commit to this thing. You might be running from it, honestly. I feel like you have, you're trying to keep your options open. You may be afraid. You may be avoiding the situation. Like you're scared that it's actually amazing. But once you stand firm in your energy or you're dealing with an Aries, but once you stand firm in your own energy and like, this is what I want, you take control of the situation, you're the authority in your life, and you make a decision. This could actually be really great. You could actually marry this person. This could be a really amazing commitment. Or maybe you're already married to this person. How does this person view you, Virgo? How does Virgo's person view them? High Priestess. This person looks to you um, as a higher guiding energy. Someone who maybe has a strong faith in the universe or trusts in themselves. Someone who listens to their higher guidance and their intuition who doesn't go against their gut. Someone who is wise. That's how they view you. It could be a Piscean energy. You may have Pisces in your chart. Let's get some of these. I don't know why you're you may be running from this or you just don't trust them. I think you're not willing to make a decision. That's really what it feels like. And so once you do make the decision to commit to this, then it's like, it's great. You're committed. You, this could lead to marriage. This could be your soul mate. Um, but for right now, it's like you're still kind of looking elsewhere for some reason. It's like you don't want to believe that this situation is it for you. You may be um, trying to unattach or detach from this person or keep yourself at a distance from this person emotionally. Tell me about Virgos who are coupled. Whew. Interference. Everyone's getting this. Interference. An external force or party is ex uh, intruding on this relationship. Okay, it could be work life, it could be a third party, it could be someone else. You could have multiple options here. And so for that reason, you may just kind of be playing around with this person. But once you really clearly decide what you want and go for it, this person really kind of looks up to you, okay? They may come to you for advice. Okay, or they could be a Pisces themselves. But they view you as someone who knows what they want and who goes for it, who listens to their guidance and their intuition. I think they really admire you, Virgo. On the bottom, we have time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. So maybe this is you kind of running away or them running away. Whatever this is, you're looking elsewhere. It's like maybe you kind of want to see what else is out there before you really decide to commit to this. But Spirit is saying time apart will help you bring clarity to understanding who this person is for you and the possibility. This wedding, marriage, outcome, uh, firm, long, long-term stable commitment. 
Okay. So, swiftly choose what you want and go for it, Virgo. Let's do Virgo singles. Virgo singles, please. Spirit. Current energy for Virgo singles. Not involved. Wanting some new love. Virgo singles. I'm hearing working on themselves. So we'll see how that plays into it. But I think Spirit is saying you are. Queen of Swords. Okay. So this is firm boundaries. This is knowing what you want. This is not accepting anything less. This is being a clear communicator. This is saying, uh, don't come at me with no BS. Okay? So you can have a kind of a harsh energy about you. It's possible that you're intimidating. Tell me about this. Knight of Swords. Someone is definitely coming in. It's going to be quicker than you think. It could be an air sign. Page of Cups. Wow. Someone definitely wants to confess something to you or apologize to you. They're really, I think someone's watching you like you have a secret admirer. This person wants to come in and talk to you. I think they think about you often. Like they're, they're deciding how to come in. They want to like rush in towards you, but maybe they're intimidated by you because you're the queen of swords. Wow. Okay, tell me about this person coming in for Virgo singles. Tell me about the person coming in. What's coming towards Virgo singles? Ace of Cups, new love. Aw, Virgo. I love it. New love, new abundance, new emotional fulfillment. This person wants to come in and offer it all. Oh no, trust issues. That's why you look like such a biatch. You might have a hardened heart, my dear Virgo. But this person really wants you. And they're trying to figure out how to soften your heart. Look. But like, how can I approach Virgo with their same energy? Like, how can I come in with this swords energy, this very clear communicative energy, but soften them up a little bit and give this little cup of love or like a little boost, a little taste of my emotional uh, feelings for them in a way that will convince them to try this new love with me. So trust issues. Ascertain if trust issues are justified or unjustified. You know? Can you trust love? Some people just don't believe in love anymore. Some people it's a defense mechanism. So figure it out. Is love possible for you? Of course it is. Trust is imperative to feeling safe and secure and that is so important to Virgo. You have to feel safe. It has to feel secure. We have exclusive on the bottom. Ooh, worthiness. Exclusive. Commitment, possible marriage. Material or life partner. Not dating other people. This person comes in. Okay, and if you're open to it. And if you deal with your trust issues. We have worthiness as well. Okay, knowing your worth. The universe can only bring you what you know that you deserve. That's what it says. You can have it all. Okay, so you're going to have to let somebody in here, Virgo. Because once you do, things move fast. And it's new love and you fall in love and it's exclusive. What a beautiful reading for you. Okay, so try to soften up a bit, okay? Let down your guard a little bit. Make yourself vulnerable. It's okay. One more time won't hurt. Let's jump to Libra. Libra, coupled or involved.
involved Libra, current energy in love and for Venus and Cancer transit, please spirit. Okie doke. King of Swords and Three of Cups. So, your energy towards this person or your, whoever you're coupled with, it seems like you know what you want, okay? You're very disciplined, okay? And I feel like you, you maybe you're figuring out that you really want this person. We got to see what this Three of Cups is about because it could be many different things, but you could be wanting to celebrate with this person, build with this person, uh, communicate and clearly and tell this person really how you feel. Tell this person that you want a future with them or that you want to take your commitment to a higher level. We have Ten of Cups on the bottom, so you may be deciding that this person is it for you, Libra. It's a lot of mental energy. Let's see. Tell me about the future outcome for this relationship for Libra. Future for this relationship for Libra, please. Involved Libras. Future for Libras who are involved. Future relationship. Future relationship for Libras who are involved, please. Well, you got a lot of stuff going on here. Oh my, oh my. Oh yeah. You're you're wanting to move up with this person. You want to. This is like. You want to tell them. Or they want to tell you. In the future, there is a, definitely a proposal, and definitely a marriage. This is a wedding. This is a victory. This is heavy commitment. Okay, your traditions and values may be at play here. You may come from two different religious backgrounds, but someone wants to talk about it. Proposal, apology, let's do this, uh, let's take our commitment. They want to celebrate. You want to celebrate with this person. It's like you're firm now. You realize it. You know that this person is what you want. You're making this happen for yourself. Okay, or they are, or you both are. You are manifesting this. So a message of love, an offer of love, a message of love, and it turns into this really... I mean, that's a wedding. That is a commitment. That is a proposal in a wedding. So you may be thinking about this now. How you're going to propose. When you're buying the ring. How are they going to propose? How does this person view Libra? How does Libra's person view them? Uh-oh. Ten of Swords. Okay. You know what that means. Ten is completion. So this person... You may have had past pain with them in the past, okay? They may be um, getting over betrayal or suffering, or they may have trust issues with you. But this could be like the end, the end-all be-all. They may see you as... as like you're it for them. That's awesome. I need to clarify that. We do have Ace of Swords on the bottom, so clear communication, epiphany, clarity, something needs to happen here, but... Um, clarify Ten of Swords for how Libra's person sees them, please. Page of Swords. Okay, this person may be wanting to communicate. What, they need to get something off their chest, I feel like. Or they maybe they think you need to get something off your chest. Page of Swords can also be like studying, researching, stalking, watching you on social media. They may feel like, I don't think they see this coming at all. I don't think they know how you feel about them. So Libra, if this is true, you better get after them because <laughs> you need to make this proposal ASAP. They may feel like you, 
you don't want to celebrate with them. You actually want other people. Or they may have feel like you had you had third party situations in the past. And so they really don't trust you. They watch you. They they do have this past pain here, but I don't feel like they're moving on. I don't feel like this is an ending. I mean, how could you be so far apart? You know, emotionally and what you think this is. I think this person wants you to be the end all be all. But I think they want to end to this pain and maybe they feel like being married. Maybe you feel like being married will put an end to this pain. But I don't know if that's true, Libra. This is to suddenly turn very complex. Seven of Wands on the bottom. This person does have some sort of resistance towards this connection. I don't know if they trust you. They're watching you. So, Libra, this isn't going to be for all of you, okay? Obviously, this is a very specific reading. But if you know this person is everything you want, you need to say it. And you need to show it. It's like you want to manifest a way to have everything you want and, and create this victory. But this person is very hesitant. There's a lot of past pain here, either from a past relationship or from you. So I feel like, and also don't do this, okay? For those of you who are trying to get married because you don't want the relationship to end, you know, or you feel like, well, the only way they'll stay with me is if we get married. Don't do that. Please. But I don't feel that from you. But seeing how they feel makes me think maybe you're afraid that it will end if you don't. Do not be forced into a marriage, okay? And don't also, Libra, don't get into a marriage if you do want third parties and you still want to go out and see other people and see what else is out there. Don't drag this person into that. Let's see what Spirit has to say for Libra. For this relationship for Libra, please. While Venus is in Cancer. Yeah, Venus in Cancer, absolutely. You're going to be thinking about marriage. You're going to be thinking about taking this to the next level, making it more stable and secure for yourself, and all of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Healing. Okay, old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. This person needs healing for sure okay and or this is how they view you that you need to work on yourself that you need to study up and uh, think some things through they may feel like you're immature they may feel like you're the one that's hurt they may feel like you're not ready Libra they may feel like you're the one that needs healing and that you're just trying to cover up your past pain and hurt and whatever with a marriage. So that needs to be assessed and figured out before you propose to this person, okay? What is this? Obviously this reading isn't for every Libra. Sorry, I'm, I dropped all these cards on the floor. Let's just see what they are. Integrity, wow. Does this situation align with your values and morals? Okay, does being with this person make you feel like you're both in alignment? You both have the same core values? Do you believe this person has integrity? Do you have integrity? We do have this Three of Cups energy here. For some of you, perhaps this person went outside of the relationship. For others of you, maybe it was you. I don't know. Maybe no one did. But there is some pain, heavy pain here. And that's how they view you. And also, like I mentioned before, don't run in and jump into something and, and say you want a commitment, you want to marry someone. Just because you want this pain to be over with. This has to be dealt with. This has to be talked about. Someone needs to get something off their chest. And it's heavy. Okay, and then we have obstacles and obsession. So, yeah. 
there's obviously some sort of resistance here. Some healing has to be done. There's questions about somebody's integrity. And that is absolutely an, an obstacle. But someone is obsessed here. And I can kind of see that now. You know, like, firmly knowing what you want. Definitely, like, let's just do this. Let's just jump into this. I need to talk to them. I need to, like, make them mine forever. Because you don't want to lose this person. And, like, stalking. Definitely obsession. Someone is watching you. Or you watch them online. That is clear. But this pain. I mean, firstly, are you in alignment? Secondly, things need to be healed. These are the obstacles. And somebody is literally obsessed. Someone, it says someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. There it is right there. There's something that somebody can't, maybe can't get over. And they're watching you. Okay. Wow. Okay, they're watching you or you're watching them. I don't know, but it's like, I can feel the energy of like, I need to, I need to make this mine. I need to have this. I need to somehow manifest a way to get this person to commit to me forever. Like this, I don't want this third party. I want this person. This is you. It's got to be you. <sighs> Do you, it's like this is all you think about. Wow. Libra, you got to do some healing, I think, okay? Before you try to make something work. Because maybe you're just trying to make it into something like it's never meant to be. Just because you, you're trying so hard to control it. Or like make it happen the way you see it you have to heal this just popped out and look what's on the bottom firstly stop stalking this person Libra <laughs> or somebody's stalking you I don't know but you need to take a pause you need to take a break you need to back off for a bit and heal yourself because this is like overthinking you need to heal You know that type of desperate energy? Like, oh, let's have a baby, you know, just to make it work. Maybe if you go within, maybe when you find some enlightenment and some healing, maybe then you'll realize you still want to offer your cup of love to this person. You may still want to propose, okay? But you need to give yourself some time. You don't have a baby with someone. You don't get married. You don't rush into something that serious. Because you're afraid of losing it. We all know that. Okay, Libra, that was heavy. Let's jump to uh, Libra singles, please. Libra singles. Tell me about the current energy of single Libras. When it comes to love. Actually, I need to say one more thing. Libra couples, for that reading that we just said. I'm getting that that person views you as very hurt. Okay, I don't think anyone went outside of the relationship. I'm not sure, maybe they did. But the person viewing you like you're crushed, you're broken. I don't get that that person did anything though. They may have been talking to someone else or maybe watching someone else. With that page of swords okay but you may really actually love this person and want to be with them forever and you may end up with them forever I mean it seems like that's what's gonna happen 
I just want you to be sure you're doing it for the right reasons and at the right time and that your heart is whole and that you are healed. Like, why is your person viewing you as broken and suffering and in like really a lot of pain? They don't even see it coming. They don't even know that you want marriage and everything with them. I think they're just like waiting to see how you feel. So whatever happened, I feel like it happened recently. I just needed to say that. I don't want it to seem like I'm saying you're not meant to be with this person or that you're making it into something it's not. I just want you to know that the outcome looks good, but there's some sort of disconnect between you and your person because they're viewing you as completely broken and you're viewing them like you, your future is like you want everything with them and you want that successful long-term relationship. I just think you need to get on the same page, okay? Okay, Libra singles. Libra singles, please. Current energy for Libra singles. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Queen of Swords and Nine of Cups. So you feel good. You know what you want? You got firm boundaries in place. Uh, you're very logical. And also, you're feeling very emotionally secure. I feel like you're very emotionally independent right now. And you feel like you don't need anybody, single Libras. Who's coming towards Libra? What's coming in for single Libras, please? During this Venus and Cancer transit. What's coming in for single Libras? Could be a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries, but this is something very hopeful. I feel like you're you're very adventurous. You're very optimistic. You're saying, "What's coming in for me? I'm waiting. I've been doing this work on myself. I've been putting in action. I'm just very emotionally independent now. So it's like I don't need anybody, but I want somebody. And you're open to whatever comes in. We have Hierophant on the bottom, definitely building towards a firm foundation for yourself and so when this person comes in it's going to be amazing you want it to be equal look if not you're just going to stay single you don't even care if it's not equal i'm going to stay single quote me on that i need to make a shirt that says that if it's not going to be equal i'm just going to stay single what Quote me. Okay. So you could have fire sign coming towards you, earth sign coming towards you, but it looks really good. Either way, you don't have to stay single, okay? This card doesn't have to mean that, but it does mean that you are self-sufficient no matter what, and you feel very good, and you're focused on your abundance and luxury, and you've got everything you need, and that is the perfect type of energy. And look, King of Swords, you may be attracting your perfect partner, soulmate, counterpart, all of that. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, Libra. This looks really good. And you're waiting for it. Like, you're hopeful. You're open to it. I love it. It's going to be equal. It's going to feel great. You're going to keep your own space and independence within the relationship. And it's going to be fantastic. Abundance. Brand new opportunity. Okay, the world. I think it's going to be everything you ever wanted. Let's get this going here. Single Libras, please. Tell me about single Libras. What's coming in? Oh my. Trigger. Okay, all these popped out. So I'm just going to read them. Take which ones resonate. Leave the ones that don't. Okay, trigger. Overreaction. Respond rather than react. Avoid decisions based on fleeting emotions. Right? So when you get upset about something. Or you get really into something emotionally. Really interested in something. Okay? Don't make a decision based off of temporary emotion. Please don't do that. Leaving space, okay? Leave space for this person, and I think that you are. You've already made space. So don't let a bunch of J.O.'s in, you know what I mean? 
we don't want a bunch of jerks taking up space when we got this really amazing thing coming in because the right one can't come in if the wrong one is there. Why won't you focus? Focus, please. Please focus. <laughs> I guess I moved too much. Libra, pay attention. Oh, focus. Please focus. Right, well, just take my word for it, okay? Oh, there we go. The right one can't come in when the wrong one is there. Leaving space. And then we've got emotional intimacy. Beautiful. Healing relationship with the self. You're doing it. You've already done that. The inner child. Okay, doing that precedes successful relationships. Love is energy, so loving yourself and having emotional intimacy with someone else goes hand in hand. You have to love yourself in order to have a successful relationship. You've already done that. You've already become emotionally independent and you're still working on it, I mean, but it's good. Stoked, oh, you're stoked. I love it, riding the wave of positive manifestation, excited dreams coming true great things happening so you're making this happen for yourself okay because of the work that you've done because of your current energy because of your hope and and being open to new love and being open to whatever comes your way also we have finger pointing okay take responsibility for your actions and and your behaviors and relationships and let's not point the finger okay our partners reflect our wounds. Relationships mirror what we are. So keep that in mind when you're wanting to attract that you are attracting what you are. You have to be at a very high vibrational level to attract that in someone else. Okay, so don't, don't blame anybody else. Take responsibility for yourself. I feel like Spirit is just confirming these things that you've already done this, okay? And, and you may still have a few triggers left over, but that's fine. You're excited, and you are leaving space. Okay, single Libras. Thank you. Let's jump to Scorpio. Scorpio in a relationship. Tell me about Scorpio in loving relationships or involved with someone. Scorpio's involved loosely or otherwise, doesn't matter. Coupled or involved, Scorpio energy please, current energy. Scorpio, the hanged man, Piscean energy, taking a pause, reflecting, not making any moves, hesitation, thinking, trying to see things from a different perspective. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. What is happening? Way too many cards popped out. I saw what was there. I'm gonna do I'm gonna ask again and we'll see what else. Okay, we'll see what else. Whew, you guys are going through a lot, obviously. There's a million cards that want to come out. So let's just take a quick second. Clear this energy, please, for Scorpio. Okay, so we have the hanged man as your current energy. Now let's see about the future. I think you're not you're not knowing what you want in this relationship right now. But let's see the future of this relationship for Scorpios who are involved, please. Queen of Swords. Okay, this is you. Getting firm. Very logical. Cutting people out. Firm boundaries. Not taking no shiza. Being clear, communicator, firmly saying what it is that you want. How does this person view Scorpio? 
how does this person view Scorpio? You could be dealing with a Pisces and or have Pisces in your chart, but you could also be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. How does this person view Scorpio? How does Scorpio's person view them? Okay, it was the strength. I'm all over the place. Anyways. Okay, they view you as a strength card. They think that you're confident, you're serious. Um, they view you as trusting in God and the universe. They view you as confident. This is Leo energy. Some of you may have Leo in your chart. Leo rising, Leo moon. And then we have seven of wands on the bottom. I think this person, listen to me here. This Queen of Swords, this uh, defensive, uh, very firm, this person knows you're not playing. This person sees that you, you're getting serious now. Okay, so you may have told this person, you know, you're about to tell this person. It seems like you're still thinking about it, but I feel like you're going to tell this person where to go. You're going to tell them you need to get it together. Or you're just going to tell them, that's it. I don't need you. I'm done with you. And you're willing to fight for it. This person's still going to try to apologize. They're going to try to make it happen. Clarify Queen of Swords in the future, please, for Scorpio. The future outcome. Drawing a line in the sand, baby. Clarify the Queen of Swords in the future, please. Knight of Swords. Quick action. Quick, clear communication. You may get some news. Truth may come out. Or this is just you getting it off your chest. I feel like you make a decision and then you just stick with it and you tell them and that's it. Yeah, Queen of Wands on the bottom. Stella's getting her groove back, baby. Stella's getting her confidence back. You're Stella, in case you didn't know. You're not playing around. You're about to get a big boost of confidence here. Okay, Leo energy. Could be dealing with a Leo or like I said, you could have Leo in your chart. Also possible to be dealing with a Sagittarius or Aries. Okay, tell me about this relationship, please, for Scorpio. Love messages for Scorpios who are involved. This is not going to resonate for every Scorpio, okay? Because this is, seems like it's for a Scorpio who has kind of been wanting to leave for a while and can't make up their mind. But at some point in the future you do. And once you start talking, it really starts coming out. I mean, it really starts like diarrhea mouth, saying everything they ever did to hurt you and just really being so firm. Like this person can't even touch you. They can't even mess with you because you're on this energetic level of just like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And you have the strength and they know it. Tell me about this relationship for Scorpio, please. Scorpios who are involved. I grabbed those because they were sticking way out. Okay, I don't know if you saw that or not. But. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. And you know this. You're already doing this. You already see this warning. Okay, red flags are apparent. Addiction. An addiction is affecting this relationship. This could be sex addiction. It could be drugs. It could be obsession and that this person is addicted to you. Or you could be addicted to love. You could be wanting to stay with someone, 
because you have attachment issues, codependency issues, addiction to the feeling of someone being there for you, someone loving you, someone caring for you. But I don't think this person is doing that. Okay, the energy that I get here, time apart, some distance will help bring clarity. Take time away from this person and I feel like that's going to boost your confidence and make you want to say more. You know, make you, give you more uh, encouragement to get everything off your chest and cut this person out. Seriously. You know, sometimes distance makes the heart grow fonder, but sometimes when you take time apart and you really sit and think about all the pain, all the issues, all the crap, it just really furthers how you feel. And that's just not something emotional, Scorpio. That's just not something you're feeling. That's something the universe is guiding you and doing for you so that you can let this go. Okay, like I said, that's not for every Scorpio. Let's do Scorpio singles, please. Uninvolved Scorpios. Scorpios who want that new new. Scorpios who are open, healed, all of that, want some new love who aren't with anybody, who aren't talking to anybody, who just want someone new to come in. Single. Single Scorpio, please. Current energy for single Scorpio. Single Scorpio, please. Collective of single Scorpios current energy King of Wands okay so this is your current energy you know what you want you're confident kind of a lusty going out romantic wanting to meet somebody but you're in control you're stable all right, you're, you're willing to fight for something here. You may be going out looking for love. What's coming towards single Scorpio, please? You may have fire in your chart. You may be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Or you may just be feeling very sexual, wanting to go out and find some romance. Wanting to go out and meet somebody and have some new love happening. What's coming in for single Scorpio, please, Spirit? Single Scorpio, please. Ooh, a Queen of Cups. A Queen of Cups is coming in for you. This could be male or female, doesn't matter. This is a motherly energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone who is mature emotionally. Someone who doesn't just say things that they don't mean. Someone who wants love as well and who is able to return it? Who is able? So you want something with passion and emotion and it seems like you're gonna be getting it. Okay, and this could be life changing, life altering relationship. Yep, there it is. And I just saw the tower on the bottom. This person is gonna come in, single Scorpio, and it's gonna change your whole entire life. This person is a soulmate this person wants to partner with you. They want to give you their cup of love and you want to give yours to them. That is beautiful. King of Pentacles. This person may be completely like everything you ever wanted. Grounded, secure, fatherly, motherly type energy. Who wants to be there for you? Who wants to support you? who is very stable and secure. Tell me about this relationship coming in for the single Scorpios. Single Scorpio relationship coming in, please. We got two. Altered view, seeing things differently than they are. Okay, these are probably issues that, that would be holding you back in a relationship. So Spirit is saying, deal with this stuff first, and then you can move forward. See, seeing things differently than they are, past conditioning is influencing a situation, and reevaluate. So this person might come in, and they might 
challenge you a little bit with their views or their background or their culture or or their morals or whatever okay and it may really challenge you to to think about your conditioning and what you believe and your values and morals and if you know there's any way those can sway or if uh, some things can be can be changed here to make this situation work whatever's coming in and then we have baggage not letting go hanging on to past hurts and issues identifying heal patterns that impact relationships so this is about you healing your past so that you can be fully ready for this soulmate who's coming in for you so do this work now Scorpio so that you're ready recognize the patterns in your past relationships recognize where your hurts your hurts are within yourself and, and what has caused them and this will allow you to be more open to be healed to be more open to someone who's different from you this person is going to be very surprising I think but you're going to really hit it off and you're going to feel the love from this person almost immediately like the, the love the possibilities of this person their capability of loving immediately Okay, thanks, Scorpio. Let's jump to Sagittarius. Tell me about coupled or involved Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Sagittarius who are involved. Current energy, please. And the energy from this Venus and Cancer transit. For Sagittarius who are coupled or involved with someone else. What is their current energy? Sagittarius current energy. This just keeps jumping out. Like uh, the last, I feel like the last like six signs. Queen of Swords, very firm, very uh, steady, smart, logical, taking your heart out of it. This is like strictly using your head, firm boundaries, laying down the ground rules. Okay, tell me about the future of this relationship, please. Future of the relationship for Sagittarius who are coupled and involved. Thank you. Queen of Cups. Okay, so you may go from this really hard, uh, firm energy to this Queen of Cups, okay? Or it just becomes very uh, much more emotionally fulfilling, okay? So you've had you you may have had or you will this month just really be thinking about things revisiting things in the past how they felt how they feel now is this person who i want for life is this person who i want right now firm boundaries equating to much more emotional fulfillment compassion sort of letting go of this it tells me something happens here okay Something transpires over the next month and a half where you go from feeling this really kind of a harsh energy from being a very clear communicator. This is what I need. This is what I expect into I feel that you get those needs met. So speaking clearly is going to be very important for you over the next, uh, I want to say eight weeks, I think maybe seven or eight weeks. I think Venus is in Cancer until July 20th, 20 something. Might need to look that up. But uh, let's see how this person views you. How does Sagittarius' this person view them? How does Sagittarius' this person view them? Okay, this person may view you as a little bit controlling when it comes to money or um, maybe that you spend too much. Something about money, okay, it's a control issue. So either you're too controlling when it comes to money, you control the money, you don't let them spend any money. <laughs> or you don't let anyone spend any money, you're very frugal, you know, uh, and you're saving, pinching every penny, saving for the future, saving for a foundation, a structure, a home, something like that. So this person may view you as being a little bit controlling, needing to let go a little bit, 
very uh, kind of a tight squeeze, maybe smothering in some ways, maybe just when it comes to money. Okay, you could already be married to this person. This is a, this is a success card, okay? So this is like a victory card, very successful, and this is on the bottom, so this may um, be something very long term for you. That's a wedding card or marriage card. It's also the card of recognition of you getting recognition for what you deserve in the relationship perhaps and then that's how we move out of this very sharp energy of this queen who's having to be very firm into this queen who's a lot softer and, and, and sweeter and more fulfilled emotionally. Okay, let's see what the universe wants to give us with these oracle cards. Oh, love messages, please. These just fell on the floor. I wonder what they are. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, well, these just fell on the floor. Okay, so I'm just going to take them because it could be for you, it might not be Sagittarius, but this is about looking elsewhere. Maybe not for another person, but just kind of planning, willing to take action on some new things, willing to look at some different pathways, some different things that you could do. It might be uh, looking at someone else or thinking about um, leaving the relationship, but it might just be you thinking about it, you know? And then we have this page of cups, which is like even more thinking. Um, it could be news, it could be talking, it could be a communication of love, but it could come down to this, like, telling this person, like, I'm, I wouldn't leave, but, like, um, sometimes I kind of think about, you know, what things could be like elsewhere. And maybe some sort of relationship, like, sit-down conversation like that is what it takes. Maybe an apology, maybe a confession of sorts. Then we have this judgment energy here where it's like, your inner knowing. A judgment call is made. A final judgment is made. Like maybe something clicks and it changes the relationship forever. Okay, and I don't feel like it's in a bad way because we have that success card on the bottom. But maybe a conversation is needed and that's what it takes to, to get the situation where you need it to be to where you can let up a little bit, to where you can feel more fulfilled emotionally in this relationship. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sagittarian energy for this relationship, for Sagittarius who are involved. Fate. This is a destined partnership. Okay, now don't get mad at me, but. Listen, this is what, what I'm getting. Someone is deciding that going elsewhere is actually the faded relationship. Okay, it's not for all of you. Some of you know the person you're with, the person you're married to, the person that you're gonna be married to, this person is the this destined uh, partnership. But for some reason, this is popping in my head, you make this decision you may reach out to someone else outside of the relationship and then you make a decision that this something else outside, something elsewhere is the fated relationship. Don't shoot the messenger. It's not for everyone, just for some of you. And then we have denial. Wow, marriage. Denial, detach with love to clearly see the truth. Marriage, this relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Okay, so some of you are going to marry this person. Some of you are already married to this person. But we have different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. Okay, so you have to detach yourself from this situation to see it clearly. It does involve fate. It does involve marriage. Whether it's with this person you're with now, whether it's with possibly some of you thinking about someone else somewhere. I don't know. You could just be thinking about it. It could mean nothing. But um, there's obviously a difference here. There's, two, there's something has to be said or done to go from this to this. 
to get from your current energy to the future, something has to be done. Conversation needs to be had, changes need to be made in order for you to be fulfilled emotionally. Okay? So you're obviously on different pages with this person. If I don't, if I drop one more card, ugh. I need to get it together, Sag. I know. I hear y'all going, yes, you do, girl. <laughs> yes, you do. Get it together. Okay, let's do single Sagittarius. about the current energy for singles, Sagittarius, Sagittarius who are not involved, Sagittarius who are looking for something new, single Sagittarius please, current energy, there we go, queen of pentacles, focused on your money, if you got kids, you're focused on your kids, you're focused on yourself, self love, nurturing, this is a very motherly energy, taking care of others, taking care of business, taking care of all everything you got to do. Single Sagittarius. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Worrying about your own stuff. Very grounded, very secure, stable. You got money. And this is what's coming in for you. A new opportunity. A new abundant, long-term, secure opportunity. Who is this, please? Tell me who's coming in for a single Sagittarius. Who's coming in for the single Sagittarius, please? could be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, a lot of earth, or this person may just have a lot of money, okay, this person may be a businessman, woman, they got their shit together, and they want to give you something stable, tell me what's coming in for this Queen of Pentacles, please, tell me what is coming in for this beautiful single Sagittarius energy. What's coming in here with this Ace of Pentacles for our single Sagittarius with this Venus and Cancer energy? You guys are really focused on your money too. I'm really, uh, if love isn't a thing for you, you know, some people just keep putting love on the back burner until their money's right. Some people just say, well, if the love's not here, I'm just going to keep working, 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 stack my chippies, stack my money until the person comes in. So this may be both, though. This person may be coming in with uh, stable, secure energy as far as finances go, but also emotionally. Tell me about single Sagittarius. What is this energy? All right. Just going to take them because they jumped out. The star could be Aquarian energy. This could be your wish come true. Okay, but there's something that you worry about here. I feel like you're having a hard time deciding between two. Could be two people. Or this could just be two opportunities. Two different paths you're choosing here. And they both look promising, okay? But one, you have the world. One, you don't really know. So I believe you're going to come into a few different options here, single Sagittarius, could be Aquarius. We also have uh, more Aquarian energy here, Libra and Gemini as well. Fire energy, but this is like, whew, this is a strong energy all of a sudden. I feel like you, you could really have something incredible here and you have opportunities already on your own, financially, career, that kind of thing. But this is different. This is like my wish come true. This is like an answered prayer. Some of you have been praying. Some of you have been very worried, anxious, not sleeping good at night. I feel like because you're needing help deciding on these two things. You don't know which path to take. This enlightenment will come, okay? But this comes with healing too. This card is about healing and patience and, and listening to your higher guidance. The star brings enlightenment. For some of you, you've connected to the Pleiades. Okay, look into Pleiadian messages. Um, there's different channels for Pleiadian messages that might resonate with some of you. Okay, but this 
it's like you don't know what path to choose. You're, you're having some sort of fear here about love, I think, coming in. Maybe you're worried that it's not going to come in. But it is. Your prayers are going to be answered. Don't think too much about it, okay? Let it come in. Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you about this. Single Sagittarius energy, please, for this new coming in. This new new. For single Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. Destructive habits. Okay, well, all right. Addictions to gambling, alcohol, sex, negatively impacting relationships, toxic thinking, and behavior. There it is. Toxic thinking. Okay. So get out of your head. You may be building a resistance and keeping this coming to you. Like keeping this from you. I actually saw another card. It said dating. Let's see what it says. I've never seen that one before. Let's find it. It said dating. I saw it when that one fell out. So I'm going to say it because... There it is. Okay. Dating. Are or will likely be dating. Liking each other. Enjoying each other's company and seeing each other. So, you may have more than one choice, more than one option that you will be dating, dating around. Or you may just begin to start dating someone more seriously. You will have more than one option, okay? We got fire, we got air, we got earth. So, pretty much everybody here. Not too much water, but, you know, water comes. Emotions come in time. So, be on the lookout for another fire sign, an air sign, or an earth sign. Okay. Keep worrying about you, focus on you, focus on your money. I like that energy for you, single Sagittarius. Thank you. Let's do a collective. Oh my gosh. That happened last time. I did an Aries reading and my printer turned on. I did not touch my printer. I didn't touch it. I don't know why it's coming on. It came on on its own. I don't even have ink in there. I know. It's beeping at me saying, you don't have ink. I'm not even trying to print anything. I don't know why that, that happened that last time I did an Aries reading. So maybe something's connecting you with Aries. Maybe you need to go back and watch that Aries reading, Sagittarius. I'm just saying. But I was talking about the collective. That's weird. Okay, spirit. Tell us what you want to say. This is for the collective in love. Please, we'll do coupled and singled. Please tell me about the Venus and Cancer energy for the collective in love. Current energy, Nine of Swords, okay. Wanting to take action, news coming in, clarity coming in, something quick. It's fast moving, approaching you, collective, in love. So, someone wants to talk, someone wants to communicate, someone comes rushing in. This is for the coupled energy for the collective. Okay, please tell me the future outcome. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So, that's for the collective. The future seems bright. A lot of abundance, a lot of uh, financial stability, happy home life. Okay, after this sort of news or communication comes out. Wow. We have the Hangman and Knight of Cups. Well, so someone may be thinking about proposing. Someone's thinking about taking an action of love. This is for the collective, guys. So, I don't know. Okay? Piscean energy. A lot of love here. A lot of possible opportunity here in abundance. So, this person may view you as you don't know what you want. One day, uh, you're hanging upside down. <laughs> Not really sure what you want. And the next day, you're talking about moving forward in love. So, what do you want? The future is bright, for sure. 
But somebody's got to take some action here, okay? Someone needs to speak up. This is a collective, so let's just see. Collective energy for Venus and Cancer. I feel like Spirit is saying we could all have what we want, you know, if you're willing to do the work and take take the actions now and talk about it. Be open to communicating. Tell the truth. You know, you can't be wishy-washy. You can't be one day you want love, one day you don't know, one day you're hesitant, one day you're scared, one day you want love, one day you're willing to put in the work, one day you're like, mm, well, kind of want to hang out like this by myself upside down for a while. You know, you just got to choose. We got to choose. Tell me about love, please. Venus and Cancer for the collective. Love messages for couples involved for the collective. I just keep thinking of this card over here, the soulmate card that says very soon. I'll find it for you. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about already if you watch other tarot readers. Come on now, tell me about the collective and love, please, jumpers. Thank you, spirit. Collective love messages for Venus in Cancer for couples. Okay, I tried to jump. It was gonna jump. Phew. Interference, yep. Okay, denial. Okay, strictly sexual. Okay, so yeah, uh, okay. We got this before. Almost everybody got this interference card. A lot of you guys got this interference card. So, I feel like we're worried about something, okay? We're scared. Majority of us. This is the collective, so we're going to have to detach ourselves a little bit, take some space from this. I'm not saying break up with the person you're with, but kind of pull yourself out of it emotionally. See how it feels. Is this true? Because we feel like something's interfering. What's interfering? Could be anything. Could be work. Could be a third party. Could be family. Could be money issues. We don't know. But there's this fear. I think strictly sexual. The connection is passionate but not enduring. I think we feel like maybe this isn't meant to be. And so we keep going back and forth. Is this something we want to work on? I don't know. Is it meant to be? I don't know. Is it just passion? I don't know. Is it real? Is it real? You may get a thousand signs that it's real, but you'll be telling yourself, no, it's just sex. No, it's not real. But spirit is saying it's everything. It's the whole kit and caboodle. And I, I know that's fun weird to say, and I haven't said it in a really long time. You should say it at home. Caboodle. Anyways, Abundance, family, finance, everything, security, stability, it's everything. If you're in denial about your relationship and you're thinking to yourself, this is just sex, that could be the interference in itself. Or your mind, you're playing tricks on yourself, that's an interference. It stems from a fear, okay, of thinking this isn't real. Maybe it's too good to be true. Should I devote myself to this? Can I work on this partnership? Can I make it everything that I want it to be? Yes, the answer is yes. Are you going to actually do it? I don't know because you can't make up your mind, collective. One day you want a proposal, you want an engagement, you want to move forward, and the next day you're back in this spot. Well, I don't know. Let me think on it a little more. Let me see how I feel in a week or two. Let me just see how things are going. There's a hesitance there. That's a fear, okay? Well, let's do singles. Collective for the singles, please, spirit. Collective. Thank you, collective singles in love for Venus and Cancer Transit. Tell me about the singles in the collective current energy. Yep, seeing what else is out there. What 
else is out there. Planning your future with or without someone. If someone comes in, great. If no one comes in, great. Planning. Travel. Some of you are wanting to go out. Some of you are going to meet somebody while you're out traveling. Okay, you've got plans to go somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled. Some of you have more than one option. Most of you have more than one option. Let's be honest. What's coming in for singles in the collective during this Venus and Cancer transit? Okay. Following your higher guidance and your intuition. Connecting more to spirit while you're alone. Heal yourself while you're alone. Moving forward. Moving into calmer waters. Transitioning. Travel. More travel. A lot of the singles are going to be going on a cruise. Look at this. Traveling. You may meet someone while you're out traveling. Leo. Okay, some of you may be meeting a fire sign. Someone who's willing to take action. Someone who's willing to put in the work just like you are. And this is a very romantic, fiery, passionate, sexy energy. So for some of you, Pisces. We have Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo. Collective Singles. Y'all aren't worried. Look at this. You're healing emotionally. Some of you are worried. Most of you are healing. You're focused on your Ten of Cups. But for right now, you're good. You're becoming very independent emotionally, very uh, self-sufficient, worrying about your paper, worrying about your money, dealing with these emotions, healing. I love it. Let's see about this singles for the collective. A lot of you are being prepared, okay? You're being prepared spiritually, emotionally, healing right now. And so this is for a reason that you're single right now. Because something better is coming. Because you're being prepared for something way bigger than you could ever imagine. Trigger. Overreaction. Respond rather than react. Avoid decisions based on fleeting emotions. So be careful that you don't jump into something. Jump into bed. Jump into uh, an argument. Whatever it is. Based on a trigger. Based on emotions that are temporary, desires that are temporary, especially all going on a cruise ship. <laughs> Protect yourselves, singles. Okay, watch your triggers. They always mean something. Your trigger is there to show you what needs to be healed. When you're triggered by something, you got to pay attention to it. All right, I love it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please comment below if any of these uh, resonated with you. This energy will be here until the end of July. So please enjoy Venus in Cancer and um, explore yourself and your relationships and how you feel intimately and uh, emotionally. Thank you. I love you.